Hi, my name is Dr. Michelle Bean and I am a chiropractor out of Santa Cruz, California. I've been practicing for about 11 years now. And for the past year or so, I've been doing a class, it's an educational class on the endocannabinoid system and CBD. So CBD oil, if you haven't heard of CBD, you will. It is, it is the next uh, up and coming topic of discussion. People are talking about it um, all across the United States, really all across, across the globe right now. As we begin, science is really beginning to show us that we have receptors in our body, uh, which is part of this endocannabinoid system that directly bind these cannabinoids or the extract from the cannabis plant. So CBD is a huge topic of research right now, really showing how uh, it's using um, the endocannabinoid system and the receptors to bring balance back to the body. So that's a different class. It's a class that I do. It's a 45 minute presentation. In that 45 minute presentation, I do a piece on brain inflammation. And the reason I'm doing this video for you right now is because it is September in America. And you know what that means? That means it is football season, right? Football season is in full gear. NFL is in session and uh, the kids are playing high school, college, like it's happening, right? So some of the information that we need to understand if you have kids out there that are playing uh, or you know somebody whose kids are playing, we have to look at the recent research. I don't know if you've seen it. If you're an NFL fan, you've probably heard about it. It's been in the news. So July 2017, just a couple months ago, a recent article out of the Journal of American Medical Association. So the study was 202 deceased football players, of which 111 of them were former NFL players. And what the study found was 99% of those NFL players were found to show some form, whether mild and all the way to severe, chronic traumatic encephalitis. So that is brain damage. That is neurodegenerative changes in inflammation in the brain. That's a big deal. Of the entire 202 uh, that were studied, 87%, so that's 177 of those players out of 202, again, showed some form of brain damage. So we need to know about this and we need to talk about it. So because this is football, uh, it's a major, major American legendary game, right? We're not gonna just stop playing football. So the information I think is really good so that we can start to remember like if our kids are going to be playing the game, we have to supplement brain health, right? There's gotta be something out there that we can do to really protect the brain. So the research around CBD is one, it is a neuroprotectant, so it shows signs of having protective effects to the brain. This is really important. Uh, the other thing is it's an anti-inflammatory and an antioxidant, so it helps shut down some of the inflammation processes in the body and help clean up all the toxins that are coming into the system with that traumatic injury, right? So these are some of the things that I cover in that class. Uh, basically, I can't make any medical claims, so I cannot say that, sure, like if your kid has taken CBD, um, that it's going to prevent, cure, you know, any illness uh, or treat any illness. That's not the point. The point is like we have to think about supplementation, right? Um, this isn't uh, exclusive to football. It is football season, so we're talking about it, um, but it's any kind of like physical trauma to the head, repeated blows to the head. So we're talking boxing, MMA, we're talking soccer, uh, hockey, uh, lacrosse, field hockey. There's a bunch of different sports um, that create that kind of injury to the brain. The other thing that I cover in the class also is that it's not just physical trauma. So things like um, mercury exposure, mold toxicity, you know, Lyme's toxins, um, glyphosate so that's roundup so if you have any exposure to non-organic food or pesticides um, that has a tendency or an ability to trigger this neuroinflammation the way it happens is there's a trigger into the brain the brain cells get excited there's certain receptors that over excite and then that neuron or that cell um, that brain cell dies and then what it does is it sends um, uh, information or signal to the immune system. So this is an immune system mediated neurotoxicity. The immune system is stimulated. What happens is it releases chemicals and it overexcites these nerve cells again and then it just continues. It's the cyclic um, self-propelling self neurotoxicity in the brain. So Again, there's a lot of information uh, to be known. I think the main things is like if the kids are playing, supplement the brain health, right? Do things that you can do that can help protect the brain um, and really try to bring the brain and the brain chemistry back into balance, okay? Not all CBD is made 
the same. I don't think it's all created equally. I think that there are some CBD products out there that are much better than others. Uh, one other thing to remember about CBD oil, especially if it's a hemp-derived CBD, is that hemp is a bioaccumulator. So that means when it's grown in the soil, it's going to suck in and absorb everything that's in the soil. So we have to be very, very cautious of where you're getting your CBD right? Because it's going to take in either all the nutrients or all the pesticides. So you need to know your source. Um, what I would say is if you want more information, I am definitely a resource. Again, my name is Dr. Michelle Bean. Feel free to reach out to me. If somebody sent you this video, they obviously care about you and your family and your family's health. Uh, so reach out to them and get some information from them. I'm sure they can have um, plenty of recommendations for you as well. So thank you for listening and uh, I just wish you a happy fall, happy season.